And the good news is that the rain has stopped. It's been torrential this afternoon here in Seville. The locals tell us that in any year, they only have about 50 days of rain. Well, today was certainly one of them. They also boasted that they have 300 sunny days every year in Seville. So come to Seville for your holidays and hope you don't get one of the rainy days. Great noise inside this stadium. It is a towering stadium. Three tiers, the home of Real Betis. It is the Estadio Benito Villamarín. And the England supporters, there are 3,000 of the official allocation of tickets for England. They're up on the highest tier around the corner on the far side of the ground. And three sides are completely open to the elements, so it's just as well for the spectators. The uh, capacity here is 60,000. I would imagine at the moment it's probably about 50,000. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if people had been put off coming here tonight because of the weather. But uh, before we get underway and the teams are just posing for their team photographs, uh, I just want to mention Peter Brackley, who died yesterday, as you may know. Peter was one of the voices that I and millions of others grew up listening to commentating on football. And as well as commentating, he also presented Sport on 2, as it was then, before Five Live came along. So a high-quality broadcaster, but also, very clearly, a, a funny and a very nice man. So I think it's entirely appropriate before a match like this that we should send our thoughts and condolences to Peter's family and many, many friends and colleagues from BBC Sport and more specifically from the BBC Radio Football Department. Peter Brackley, very much in our thoughts. So, England have gone from Rijeka on Friday night in front of absolutely no supporters to here in rainy Seville on a Monday night in front of, as I say, somewhere between 50 and 60,000 fans. And for the second time in six weeks, England have the daunting prospect of playing Spain. And just to remind you, in the Nations League, this new Nations League, for Spain, a draw tonight, just a draw, would mean they will almost certainly win this group and qualify for the finals. If England fail to win, they will be unable to qualify for the Nations League finals next June. The teams tonight, Spain with De Gea in goal, a back four of Johnny Castro on loan at Wolves, Nacho and the highly experienced Sergio Ramos, the captain, Marcus Alonso of Chelsea at left back, in midfield Sergio Busquets with Thiago Alcantara and Saúl either side of him, and then up front Iago Aspas of Celta Vigo on the right, Marco Asensio of Real Madrid on the left, and Rodrigo of Valencia as the centre forward. He scored the winner at Wembley last month. And the England team this evening, just a repeated Pickford, Trippier, Gomez, Maguire and Chilwell. In midfield, Dyer with Harry Winks, his second cap, and Ross Barkley. And then the front line of Raheem Sterling, Marcus Rashford and Harry Kane. Former England captain Terry Butcher is here with us. Just about ready for kick-off, Terry. The referee is from Poland, Szymon Marciniak. There is the whistle. Spain in the red shirts with the yellow numbers and yellow trim. Blue shorts and blue socks get us underway and England tonight all in white and Spain immediately playing the ball back in front of their penalty area and Busquets gets his first touch of the match as uh, Kane comes in with a challenge on him Terry just a little late no, I think it was Eric Dyer just stepped up from midfield and uh, just uh, stood on his toes there Busquets I saw Busquets before the game when he came off after his warm up he took his tracksuit top off and threw it to the crowd crowd loved that gesture if I did that Bobby Robson would have fined me but uh, how times change ball uh, takes a deflection out of play on the far side off Asensio and it's uh, a throw into England over on the far side that Kieran Trippier will take. Back in the team, Kyle Walker among the substitutes bench. You were making the point, Terry, a very, very inexperienced substitutes bench, very young substitutes bench for England. And just to underline what Ian said earlier on, the average age of this England side tonight, just over 23. So it is the, the youngest average age of an England team since the turn of the century. So it's a daunting prospect against this Spanish side who are flying under Luis Enrique. Yeah, they're very confident. Yesterday we saw them train and they knocked the ball about really well. It's a lovely, lush, wet surface tonight. And it's they obviously even want to try and frustrate the Spanish, uh, Spanish team from getting their passing game going. You know, Balaguer talked about this, this, they are still a ticky-tack aside in, in some uh, capacity. But they do have good movement and they do have fast players and they can get in behind teams as we saw at Wembley. That is Terry Butcher, who was in the England team 
the last time England won in Spain against Spain back in 1987 ball back with De Gea inside the penalty area to our left long from him into centre field and that is taken down by Gomez uh, but Chilwell's cross field pass has given the ball away Aspas though the pass from him from Rodriguez was slightly behind Aspas and therefore the, the Spanish attack immediately came to nothing Terry yeah they're pressing high up the pitch England have worked the ball out well to trip you on the right hand side 1987 was the last time England scored in Spain yes four matches England have played in Spain against Spain since then and failed to score in any of them the ball at the back with Harry Maguire who's been put under pressure by Aspas but Maguire strong pulls him off just palms him off brushes him off and England pass the ball to Barkley on the halfway line Barkley this his England come back these two matches and he started both of the games Gareth Southgate was quite um, complimentary about Ross Barkley here Sterling on the edge of the penalty area 47 appearances since he last scored for England uh, 27 appearances since he last scored for England it is his 46th cap tonight and Sterling challenge loses the ball on the edge of the penalty area and Spain will bring it forward Aspas plays it back to the edge of the box where it is cleared downfield by Nacho and then a header is won on the right hand side by Johnny Castro and Castro could be on for this there is space on the far side with Asensio arriving but importantly the challenge came in and it was blocked behind for a corner if Johnny Castro had been able to centre it then Asensio would have had a, a tap in almost yeah Asensio was free because Kieran Trippier came across to block it and he has a good job he did have a, and it was a good block as well Harry Maguire letting the ball bounce going to attack the ball but beaten in the air good quick break from Spain there's a real there's a real tenacity about this game already this is five live live from Spain live from Andalusia and we're watching the first corner of the game which is taken by Asensio into the penalty area and short it's laid back and the shot from the edge of the box from Busquets flashes wide fire a deflection says the Polish referee Busquets who's only ever scored two goals for Spain in what is now 110 appearances very close to making it three you yeah, know the short corner worked Harry Kane sleeping on the near post short corner playback out to the edge of the box shot just wide nil nil then second consecutive corner from this right hand side which is played in by Asensio flicked across and it's headed at the back post Pickford makes a block the ball loops it in the air and it comes down for Rashford who should clear it away uh, in fact Spain have won it back the ball is swept across the penalty area Asensio is there and Asensio is cross field cross come shot hits Harry Kane and bounces out of play out here on the right hand side for a Spanish throw a good side by Pickford in the end the ball going to the far post and Pickford threw himself I'm not too sure if the shot was going to go on target but he had to block it up in the air England scrambled the ball away Spain dominant so far looking for that early goal dozens and dozens of spectators are still pouring into the stadium here in the top tier on the main stand the dressing room side of the stadium they are still taking their seats Spain give it away here's Sterling who plays it for to Kane inside the penalty area on the left hand side Rashford arriving at the far post Kane's cross to the near post is easily cleared away by Sergio Ramos who came across Spain in danger of giving it away in their own right back position stabbed forward by Thiago and that is brilliantly played away from their own right back area although Thiago's cross field pass finds no one in a red shirt and it's out of play for a throw into England on the right nil nil Terry yeah I'll tell you what like I said there's a bit of tenacity about the game both sides are really gone at each other any sort of challenge that has to be made is being made there's a, there's a fierceness about some of these challenges because they want the ball they want to win they don't want to concede anything especially early on but Spain almost scored England almost conceded for a, a sloppiness by Harry Maguire but uh, obviously Kieran Trippier made up for that but England just got to be careful because Spain are pressing high really pressing the full backs really early nil nil he has a ball for Sterling to chase down into the full back area in fact he's blocked from getting there by Marcus Alonso but there's the overlap and the ball into the near post well Harry Kane was challenging for it and indeed Kane has actually pushed picked up for a foul on Nacho and it's a free kick to Spain inside their own penalty area that De Gea will take so it is Spain nil England nil yeah, good ball by Trippi and across good play by, by Sterling people say by Sterling scoring goals but he did exactly what he's in the team because the ball's played down the channel he gets the ball holds it up plays in Trippi with a lovely back heel good cross in Harry Kane went to get to the near post but Nacho just stood his ground and in the end the Tottenham striker fouled the Spanish defender but good play from England I have a feeling Terry that people have waited until the rain has stopped before they start at their journey across town to get to uh, the home of Real Betis here and they're now arriving late I, I wish we had <laughs> yes, it was a little damp and uh, 
as Ian said at the start of the match um, when we arrived here the five live commentary position and all our, of our equipment was virtually flooded so we've had a big mopping up operation and we were worried whether when we actually switched the electrics on that it might actually go bang well, Steve, Steve Bridges our he's, engineer. he's our engineer, but he's also our plumber as well. He did a great job. Yes. Yeah, it was like, you know, on a ship, when the, like the old sailing ships, when there was cannon fire and the mast went down, he put a jury rig up, like a false mast. Well, he put, some, he put a canopy of plastic above us. Yes, never. He put boards behind us to keep you off the rain. It's just incredible. He's done a great job. Yeah, never mind the barber of Seville. We've needed the plumber of Seville tonight. And we've got the butcher of Seville sitting next to us. Here's the throw down the line. Kane uh, is bundled over, and it's a free kick to England on the left hand side it is a, a great challenge this tonight for this young team in, uh, in what are quite hostile surroundings I mean the contrast with Friday night could not be more marked when we were sitting there in that silent stadium in Croatia he has Trippier now down the right hand side but as he controlled it on the run uh, the official flag came up on the far side and it's a free kick to Spain. It was a great ball by Gomez, wasn't it? Just inside the Spanish half, opened himself up on the right-hand side. Trippier made the run. It could have gone earlier. and it Had it gone earlier, then Trippier would have been onside. But as he delayed it a little bit, Joe Gomez, he just he just drifted offside Trippier. But uh, England, England, good. England looking to pass the ball and, and get the, the wide players in. It's good to see Kieran Trippier get up on that right-hand side as well. It's another new stadium, this, for England. Never played in this stadium in an international match. Ball over the top for Spain looking for Rodrigo Gomez with a header here's Asensio under the penalty area stabs the ball goalwards but he was sort of on the stretch there as he hit it it's almost a toe poke it might have been a toe poke and it was straight at Pickford who was able to yeah, scoop it, was, it up it was a long kick from De Gea Gomez was struggling for the ball headed it to Trippier Trippier tried to take a touch fell backwards and in the end Asensio got onto it and he's one on one virtually with with Jordan Pickford but uh, Harry Maguire was getting across did enough to put him off and he just poked it through to Pickford comfortable save but the, the warning signs have been have been uh, written and I tell you what England have got to be careful because they're giving them away half chances and sometimes more, more often than not this Spanish side convert those half chances it's nil nil Spain nil England nil this is BBC Radio 5 Live Terry Butcher with us in that match we were talking about when England last won in Spain that was in Madrid uh, on a very wet night Gary Lenick I remember scored four goals in that match and uh, no one has scored for England in Spain since then. Long ball forward, but Asensio is in an offside position, and it's a free kick to England. England have played in the Ramon Sanchez Pizuan, the home of Sevilla, across town, but first time they've played here. At a club that is very much on the up and up, Real Betis, I feel. 52,000 season ticket holders they've got. Maguire sprays a pass out of play down the left hand side so it's a throw into Spain 10 yards inside their own half did you say 52,000? 52,000 52, season 000. ticket holders throw in which is taken by uh, Johnny Castro who made his debut against Wales when Spain won 4-1 in the friendly international in Cardiff last week they'll have commentary on Wales next Nations League game tomorrow night this time tomorrow live from Dublin Republic of Ireland against Wales will be on five live with Conor McNamara Danny Gabadon and Andy Townsend England in possession half inside their own half with central defenders Gomez and Maguire England again going with the back four after the change in Croatia of the system forward from Chilwell winning his third cap tonight ball played back to De Gea in the six yard box turned but under pressure Harry Kane wasn't very far away and he's just passed it straight out of play the Manchester United goalkeeper so England take the throw Gomez getting the ball onto his right foot and giving it to Harry Winks in the peach coloured boots that he's been playing in for club and now country as well as he wins his second cap here Sterling down the right hand side but across comes Sergio Ramos the vastly experienced Sergio Ramos winning his 160th cap tonight and his touch is heavy in the penalty area and um, England were very quickly in with a challenge on him from Eric Dyer. Uh, Dyer put in the challenge, the ball was deflected behind, uh, and Eric Dyer is going to be shown a yellow card for that challenge on the Spanish captain inside his own penalty area. First yellow card of the night, Dyer, who goes across to Sergio Ramos, and I think might have suggested to Ramos that he made a little bit too much of that. Surely not. You, you, can't, you can't tackle a Spanish player here at Real Betis like that. That's a disgraceful thing. I think the fans got him, got him booked, to be honest. Eric Dyer, great tackle. Would have loved to have done that tackle, I tell you. I have, I have dreams about <laughs> tackles you, like that. Would you really? Dreams about tackles like that. You don't say. Yep. 
and that you suspect may have been something that England talked about before the game if they, if they have the opportunity yep. to put down a marker on the uh, opposing captain Sergio Ramos yeah, and we all know all about Sergio Ramos then take it and that's what Dyer did however it means he's on a yellow card ball inside the Spanish half 11 minutes played here in Seville where Spain are in possession with the aforementioned Sergio Ramos only Iker Casillas has more caps for Spain 167 as I say it's his 160th tonight Sergio Ramos scored one of the goals against Wales the other evening indeed scored in, against Croatia in the 6-0 last month so two goals in his last two appearances now in centre field with another 100 cap man Sergio Busquets ball on the right hand side with Johnny Castro back to Busquets oh. glorious flick from Busquets oh and then it's it's wasted the opportunity is wasted by Saul who overhits it through the inside right position to Pickford nil nil when you look at like Modric for uh, Croatia and Busquets in the middle of the park you know if you're going to be a midfield player of any description any, any note you just look at these players and see what they do because they are they are world class really you don't get 100 and, 109 caps I think it is by you know being a nifty player but England giving the ball away so easily and now he has asked past middle of the England half little ball to his left Rodrigo's made a run into the penalty area Thiago with a touch now it's played out towards the left hand side Asensio is there Asensio gives, gives it to the left hand side now here's the cross from Alonso but that is blocked behind by Trippier for another Spanish corner Alonso's frustrated with himself there but he wasn't able to deliver it with four Spaniards in the England box hit the first defender yep I saw them do crosses like that and the crosses were going in being smacked in the back of the net but then there's no opposition so it's different when you have players trying to defend corner then from the left hand side out swinging delivery is headed up and away for England by Harry Kane towards Sterling ball still bouncing eventually gets it under control with four Spanish players around it and then the ball is pinged forward by Kane well that is uh, way ahead of the furthest forward England player who's actually Ben Chilwell Spain though have the ball Chance a little heavy on the far side and indeed on Winks and it is indeed a free kick I thought the whistle was never going to be blown there but it is a free kick for England six or seven yards inside the Spanish half well we've got a good football match here we've also got a good battle as well both sides are really having a go at each other physically and also um, passing wise as well on the, on, you know, getting the ball on the floor it's, it's, it's a good contest and you know England giving the ball away quite easily Spain giving the ball away quite easily as well at times no one's really found their rhythm yet, have they? Yep. The Battle of Seville has got a nice ring to it as well, hasn't it? <laughs> Spain... I like a battle. <laughs> yeah, I know you do. Spain nil, England nil. And uh, now Spain under pressure, another misplaced pass out of play. And we see Luis Enrique, the ever so casually dressed Luis Enrique. He is. Yes, he's got his trainers on again tonight. Tight black trousers. Are they jeans? Uh, it might be tight black jumper as well he's in fantastic nick I saw him close up to yesterday afternoon and, he, and he's super fit and um, he is uh, gesticulating wildly on the edge of his coaching area he's got his hands in his pockets as well which is surprising he can get them in his pockets <laughs> so tight those trousers now the ball swung out by Barkley to the right hand side uh, Trippier takes it down nicely there's Winks who's available huge drop of rain lands on the table in front of us maybe there is still a bit of moisture up there in the corrugated iron roof above our heads here's Maguire with the ball in front of his penalty area plays it back to Pickford kept clean sheets in England's last two games Jordan Pickford against the Swiss and the Croatians on Friday night Pickford clearing left footed lovely ball to Kane controls it he steers it to Rashford on the left hand side Sterling through the middle Rashford with a pass Sterling's in Sterling scores for the first time in 28 appearances for England and he buried it the contact was so sweet it flew into the top corner of the Spanish net and it is Spain nil England won and welcome back to England goal scoring Raheem Sterling remember where you were Seville Real Betis what a goal that was and it all came from Jordan Pickford he pinged a great ball a good possession Harry Maguire back to to Pickford Pickford played Dyer in the dead centre of the goal just outside the box under pressure good press from Spain back to Pickford he drilled the ball up to Harry Kane he played it wide to Marcus Rashford Rashford took a touch inside played a lovely diagonal ball through good first touch of Mahek Sterling in the box and there was no hesitation he smashed it into the top left hand corner as he looks David De Gea's right hand David De Gea didn't move 
I mean, that goal, if Spain had scored that goal, we'd be marvelling and saying, what a world-class goal that was. But they didn't. We did. 1-0 England. Superb England goal. And it is Spain nil, England 1. And it's been over three long years since the 9th of October 2015 when Raheem Sterling scored at home against Estonia at Wembley in the European Championship qualifiers. 27 England appearances since then and the dam is broken and his reaction was brilliant. In fact, it's 1,825 minutes. Phil McNulty, our chief football writer, has just passed me a piece of paper. So that's how much it is in minutes. And his reaction said everything. Spain coming forward, though. Ball on the left-hand side. Asensio, right-footed shot, but he's skied it from the angle, high over the angle of post and bar and behind. Remember how at Wembley last month, Spain just took a couple of minutes to equalise after England had took the lead. But his reaction, Terry... I mean, it was brilliantly struck. There was a bit of feeling behind it. What was he with the angle? Probably 14, 15 yards out. Yeah. And, he, and he leapt so high. The, the photographers down there will, will, I'm sure, have some brilliant pictures of Sterling, feet off the ground, punching the air, celebrating that goal. Yes, I mean, he actually, the ball from Rashford was perfect. He had one touch into the box and then hit it. Other times he would have taken another touch just to make sure, I think. And, and, but you know, this time it was. People say he can't finish, but he certainly finished well there. He certainly did. But England have to beware. He has Busquets on the left hand side. Spin. In fact, it's um, Alonso who's out there. Here is Alonso. Little ball down the left hand side. Saul plays it back now towards the halfway line. Sergio Ramos is there. The England supporters are in great voice after that Raheem Sterling goal. It was scored at the end where the uh, official allocation of 3,000 are standing. And uh, high up on the third tier, all of the England flags are draped around that section of the stadium. And they are singing, we are staying up, Ian Dennis tells me. Because, of course, there is the spectre of relegation <laughs> hanging over England in this Nations League se section. England have to win tonight in order to maintain the hopes that they might have of finishing top of the group and getting through to the finals which look as though they might well be played in Portugal in June because they're currently top of their group with one of the potential hosts England with Gomez playing it forward England are leading by one goal to nil BBC Radio 5 Live you can listen as well by the BBC Sport website and app as ever Spain trying to recover their poise it's not been um, it's been rather disjointed actually some unusually misplaced passes by the Spanish team and uh, Sergio Ramos at the back we'll remember that tackle that foul actually we shouldn't forget it was a foul by Eric Dyer and Sergio Ramos as uh, Spain again concede possession on the halfway line sorry almost yeah. 20 minutes played well I think at Wembley England scored first and then sort of sort of poked the bear didn't it for a great reaction from Spain we haven't had that reaction so far but uh, I was in Spain 1987 when we won 4-2 that was the last time we scored and I'm here again so perhaps it's in I'm England's lucky charm I don't know Barkley over hits the ball through that, that if he'd been able to deliver that right as well he could perhaps have set Rashford away but Spain have got the ball back yeah Raheem Sterling comes the becomes the first England player since Gary Lineker in 1987 to score away from home against Spain and now Spain though are breaking over the halfway line and this could open up possibilities it's taken on towards the edge of the penalty area Alonso now on the left but his cross uh, deflects up high and wide and behind for another Spanish corner from the left flank so Asensio of Real Madrid Marco Asensio with the Dutch father who named him Marco after Marco van Basten just finds the ball next to the ever-changing electronic advertising hoardings with just over 20 minutes played. England are leading by one goal to nil. And uh, the outswinging corner high towards the penalty spot. A stretch for it by Alonso. But it bounces down for England. However, it bounces back to Busquets. And now Alonso gives it to the left-hand side to Asensio. Four players in the box. But Asensio's cross is blocked by Trippier out of play for a throw down the left-hand side. Asensio himself will take this in the silvery boots or will he leave it to Alonso he will 
So Alonso comes across with that magnificent hair of his, just runs his fingers through it, and then has the ball, which he takes to uh, Busquets. Back to Alonso again. Alonso beats one man. Then Trippier comes in with a challenge, a little late. Alonso knew he was coming and bought the foul, really. Played it past him. And um, Trippier hauls him to his feet. Tottenham on Chelsea, of course. Yeah, I think the referee was already blown for the foul before Alonso actually threw himself to the floor. But, uh, uh, yeah, it was a foul on the far side. The crowd going mad. They want some reaction from this Spanish side. And they've had the opportunities to get the ball in the box. Saul should have really have made it a better at the 2-1 there. But now they've got the free kick wide on the left-hand side, probably about 13 or 14 yards from the corner flag. It's 1-0 to England. Saul's just got a position on the edge of the six-yard box. Sergio Ramos is there as well. Here's the delivery. Oh, it's a good delivery as well. Pickford's lost it. But fortunately, the fumble fell to a teammate in white who was able to scramble it away. It was a lovely delivery, actually. And now again, ball into the box from Johnny. Johnny Castro. It's headed away. Winks has headed it straight up in the air. Nodded away by Trippier, though, further and out of the penalty area. So Winks is beaten all ends up. That was magnificent. And then the cross from the left-hand side from Asensio is headed away by Kane, I think, on the edge of his box as uh, Spain continue to press it is 5 Live, BBC 5 Live live from Seville, England are winning 1-0 Raheem Sterling's goal in the 16th minute and here to take you through to half time is Ian Dennis thank you John, I think they have poked the bear, Spain are looking to try and get back on level terms, in fact for the last three games now, England have taken the lead, and they are yet to win because you'll remember they were 2-0 up when they conceded two late goals at Wembley and in that last month they took the lead and Spain turned it around to win 2-1 but it's encouraging for England. A reminder that this is their youngest starting eleven in the 21st century. And they lead Spain by a goal to nil. Asensio though, far side the left. Red shirts, raw blue shorts. Spain playing from left to right. Level the penalty area. And Raheem Sterling, his first international goal in three years. But Spain with Nacho just outside the centre circle. It's also worth pointing out that Spain are actually unbeaten in their last 38 competitive home games since they last lost to Greece in June 2003. 5,609 days. So, it's a record, although there is a long way to go. And you can hear what the Seville supporters here in the Estadio Benito Villamarín Stadium are trying to do to generate some noise not quite a sellout, but there was a pocket of England fans just away down to our right who celebrated as wildly as Raheem Sterling because the 4,000 England fans are high up and that top tier away to our left-hand side. Chilwell to take a throw, accomplished performer in the record on Friday against Croatia. They themselves had an undefeated record that stretches to 19 games. Sterling was almost in there, it was stopped. And now Busquets will play a diagonal ball. Thiago takes it in on the halfway line. Forward ball. Aspas now running at Chilwell, who back pedals. Aspas running on his toes. Does the step over into the penalty area. Chilwell sliding challenge. Last touch came off Aspas. Goal kick. Oh, I'd like to see the replay of that. I think that was a goal kick. And the referee has given a goal kick. Yes, well, well played to his assistant. And also the Polish referee, because sometimes you get the referees who work to match instruction. They say, do not overrule me. My decision is final. Here... The referee said corner, the assistant said no, it's a goal kick, and he went with him. Well well played Ben Chilwell. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, Aspas went on the outside, he thought he'd done it for pace, Chilwell got back, and then obviously with the block, played it against Aspas for a goal kick, well played Ben Chilwell. Pickford's goal kick, plenty of distance, headed down by Kane, cleared by Alonso, the left back for Spain. Dyer gets in front of Rodrigo, Rashford, downward header. Nice little flick again up in the air by Thiago. Some of the flicks by Thiago and, uh, and Busquets have been sublime. They have. In the midfield three, Winks is on the right, Dyer is in the middle, and then Barkley's on the left. It's, it's more of a flat three with Dyer going down onto Busquets all the time, and Barkley's left a little bit spare to try and pick up Thiago when he comes short. 26 minutes played. BBC Radio 5 live here with this Nations League game. Maguire, well... A little bit too close to Thiago, who gingerly gets to his feet. Maguire will hold on to the ball as he makes his way back into position. And the Polish referee gives the free kick that Busquets is going to take. Just strokes it inside. Ramos across to Alonso on that far side. Saul, who I thought was terrific against England at Wembley last month, was making a run. It wasn't spotted. They have to go back to the halfway line. Nacho, Busquets, who goes in between the two central defenders. 
Kane was looking to press, he then slipped, Spain not phased, just keeping the ball at the back, Busquets once again goes to Nacho, the casual looking Luis Enrique continues to make his instructions known to his players, from the corner of his technical area, a very relaxed and suited Gareth Southgate, just tries to usher his side out a little bit more, didn't want them sitting too deep, Saul, patient play by Spain, who trail by a goal to nil, Raheem Sterling with a wonderful goal, after 16 minutes giving England a 1-0 lead. Ramos, Alonso, only his third cap for his country as Ramos now looks for a ball over the top, offside. Rodrigo, who you might remember had a lone spell at Bolton, 17 appearances when he was then a Benfica player, triggering the offside trap, free kick to England just outside their own penalty area. And I'm not going to go on about the rain because our plastic sheeting is just still dripping on John Murray. But if you just look, lurking over the heads of Sam Wallace and Jason Burt <laughs> is a large pool of water gathered in their own plastic sheeting the only thing that's missing I said to Sam is a goldfish you know when you get a fairground yeah. Yeah. that's how much water there is in that plastic uh, sheeting as it gathers Thiago just inside his own half Aspas runs into Winks Winks who can be combative won the first ball lost out on the second to Thiago six yards over the halfway line Thiago gets it back from, from Busquets and then Ramos quickly plays it back out towards Alonso Aspas drops deep forward ball Asensio level the penalty area back to Aspas in the penalty box Dyer had him covered back to Asensio floats it over headed and attacked by Maguire comes out towards Johnny of Wolverhampton Wanderers while well, he's on loan from Atletico Madrid he's playing it right back Rashford's gone with him but the assistant on this near side says it will be a throw that Johnny wants to take quickly 28 minutes played England still lead by a goal to nil Bosnia are leading Northern Ireland by a goal to nil in the Nations League that's B3 Bosnia are top that'll be three wins out of three Northern Ireland yet to pick up a point as they sit bottom of the table that also of course includes Austria Saul away from Maguire Saul's cross Asensio went for the acrobatic didn't connect it's retrieved by Alonso left corner of the penalty area back towards Thiago comes on the inside curling effort comfortable height just above his head for Pickford pats it down looks for the early release looking towards Harry Kane there was a push in the back of Kane there by Ramos Kane though has gone onto the ball able to turn he looks up he finds Rashford Rashford in the penalty area and England lead by two goals to nil and Pickford once again the architect with his distribution from the back they hadn't scored in Spain since 1987 and they've now scored two goals in the space of 29 minutes. It's Spain nil, England two. An unbelievable goal but once again it starts with Jordan Pickford at the back. He's long ball up. Harry Kane had to fight for the ball. Ramos and Nacho were there. Ramos just got to it first but Harry Kane got the rebound and then held on to it well instead of playing it easy he turned he knew where Rashford was coming in from the left hand side he played a lovely diagonal ball into the box Rashford took a touch and then just stroked it past David De Gea in the goal a wonderful goal you could say it's counter-attacking football at its very best it's effective it's quick and it works 2-0 England I mean dreamland here absolute dreamland well 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 Marcus Rashford who missed those two guilt-edged opportunities in Rijeka on Friday night was certainly not wasteful then against his Manchester United teammate David De Gea it was almost like they were training at Carrington as he dispatched the ball past the Spanish number one Spain trailing now by two goals to nil and that long undefeated record that stretches back 15 years is in real jeopardy and England's young guns 2-0 up and Jordan Pickford with his distribution at the heart of both goals Remember, though, they were leading 2-0. One of them, when I met, we discussed when they met at Wembley just a few years ago. But they are in such a strong position now with 14 minutes to go at a half-time. Saul, and not only that as well, as far as the Nations League's concerned, it would take them on to four points, just two behind Spain, who've still got to go to Zagreb, and England still to play Croatia at home. Are you Scotland in disguise? Is now the chant from the England supporters over on that far side. But Spain. Oh, Busquets. 
giving the ball away to Sterling. Sterling breaking forward now. He's got Barkley and Rashford ahead of him. Kane joins the attack. Flag's, flag is up. Comes back to Kane. He's pulled it wide anyway, but the flag was raised. I think, I think Kane played the ball through. And Ra oh no, Sterling played the ball through. Rashford. I think it was Rashford and Barkley got in each other's way. And then and, and up Rashford was offside. He just flicked the ball. He, if he left it, Barkley might have been in, in behind. But once again, another great counter attack from England. This is this is. I mean, this is great play in terms of riding out a storm and then breaking well. As long as as long as that storm doesn't produce the goal till half time. If England can get out to half time at two, I and mean, they're actually still looking for a third as well, which is great. Well, when you say, I mean, it's not. This isn't an England side that's parking the bus at all. No, no, no. They're pressing high up the pitch. Yep. They're putting Spain under pressure. Sterling's coming back. Rashford's coming back. But they have been ruthless, and that ruthless streak was missing against Croatia. Yep, they have. And that, 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 they're not definitely not parking the bus. But, the, but when Spain attack, they're getting back into shape, making it difficult. Gareth Southgate was the one that came out. You mentioned it in commentary to say, you know, push up. England, England did push up, caught Spain off a couple of times. And then when, when Spain was, with, with that high line, they're able to win the ball back quicker and easier. Dyer looks towards Sterling. Just stepping forward on the halfway line was, uh, was Ramos. Spain, 2-0 down. Sterling and Rashford with the goals. Rashford, who's now scored three in his last four. He'd previously gone two in 24. It's uh, his sixth goal for his, uh, his country. But Raheem Sterling was clearly delighted after getting his first in three years for England's opener. And now they lead 2-0. They've got that cushion. They can maybe, if they want, just to drop a little bit further back and then really strike as Rashford comes forward and does that. And he gets away from the run of Johnny. And he's over the halfway line and he's got Kane up with him. England lead by two goals. Then he looks for the England captain. And that was cut out, though. And now, all of a sudden, Busquets just outside the centre circle in the red shirts of Spain, playing from left to right as we look here inside the Estadio Benito Villamarín, with England having a two-goal cushion. You know Adrian's Wall in north of England. It's named after Adrian, the Roman emperor, who was born in this region of Spain. Well, England's defensive wall now has got to be breached twice. Otherwise, they'll be coming here and collecting three points as Dyer... In fact, they might be adding to their tally. Out towards Sterling. Sterling, held up by Alonso. Drops to his knees. And Ramos will come forward. He had to overcome some early pressure. Pickford made an important block. Asensio tested Pickford as well. With a poked effort. And England now protecting their goalkeeper. And Chilwell doing well as he tracks the run of Aspas. Saul hasn't been able to have anywhere near the same level of influence as he did at Wembley last month. Alonso, left-hand side. Asensio, Thiago, back with Alonso once again. But they're playing in front of England, who are all in white here in uh, Seville tonight. Every outfield player now is in the England half. Nacho, Busquets takes over. Central position, along the ground. Diagonal ball, Asensio. Alonso's coming on the overlap, not required. Low ball in but it was uh, Rodrigo who'd made that run towards the near side of the six-yard box and he couldn't get anywhere near it to try and flick it goalwards. He runs it out for a goal kick. England lead 2-0, five live Terry Butcher. And that's what happens when the ball goes out wide. When England are defending, the ball's out into the wider areas. There's one centre forward in there, Rodrigo, and, uh, and Harry Maguire either has to stay with him or pass him on to Gomez. Uh, in that case, Harry Maguire stayed with him, but the ball was going in and Rodrigo was going at such a pace he couldn't control it. It went for a goal kick, but good play. But England's line is high, which is good. They are dropping back in, but when they're breaking, they're breaking in numbers. Nacho looks to Asensio, just tucked in there was, uh, was Trippier. Trippier, who I thought was unfortunate to lose out to, uh, to Kyle Walker on Friday night. He, whether it be a right back or right wing back, he's done well in that uh, position. Played, in fact, seven of the previous eight games there, so... Real competition for place at right back as Trippier, I think, might have just been caught by Alonso and has stayed down. Of course, not, let's not forget Trent Alexander-Arnold as well. He's now on his knees and getting back to his feet. But if you're listening to Five Live, just got into your car now. 36 minutes played and England lead by two goals to nil here in Seville. And Trippier was tripped up there on the far side, wasn't he? Time for England to get a bit of a breather. Time for us to get a bit of a breather because... It is not, we'd say, waves and waves of, of Spanish attacking because they're giving the ball away well. They seem a little bit uh, shell-shocked. They haven't recovered, but they did at Wembley to go in a, a goal down. So much so that England have gone another goal up. So, you know, it's, it's good play for England, but they can't be slack, they can't be casual. Another tackle on Trippier on the far side. And is the yellow card going to come out now? Well, that was Thiago on this occasion, and that was late on Trippier. 
Um, the England supporters are singing the national anthem. It's being roundly booed and whistled and jeered by the Spanish supporters because, unfortunately, there was uh, trouble last night in, uh, in Seville. Only by a, nor by a minority, but enough for the FA to issue a statement today. And quite depressing, really, that once again the FA find themselves in that position due to a minority of supporters. There's a long ball out towards Rashford, and it just ran away off his outstretched left foot and through towards David De Gea. Ramos now comes forward. Of course, he started here at Seville, but the press has worked again, and England have won the ball back, and Sterling is played in now. Sterling on the edge of the area. He looks towards Barkley. Barkley's first time shot is going to come out towards Harry Kane, enters the penalty area. He gets the shot away. That's blocked. And once again, it will be Saul who can bring it clear for Spain, and Alonso will play it long. But England are not afraid to put pressure on Spain. Here is Winks doing exactly that. Winks can't turn away from trouble. Loose ball picked up by Dyer. Out towards Harry Kane. Trippier goes forward. Good football by England. Trippier stays forward. Delivers the ball in towards the penalty area. Johnny's on the cover to clear from Rashford. Spain have given it away. Dyer once more. Barkley. Chilwell comes forward. Chips the ball in towards the penalty area. Kane looks towards Sterling. England lead by three goals to nil. The value of Sterling is on the rise, and England's England's raining Spain. Spain nil, England three. It's raining goals, as you say, Ian. What a treat that was. Wonderful play. Guy picks the ball up. Spain guilty of giving the ball away. 30 yards outside their goal. Good little ball into Kane. Kane sees Rashford coming in as well. All he's got to do is just set it up for his, for his England colleague. He does, he cuts it back right on the six-yard line, six yards out. David De Gea, no chance. I don't think David De Gea's had a save to make, and yet he's had to pick the ball out of the back of the net three times. Wonderful play. You talk about being ruthless, this is sensational stuff from England. They've got probably three shots on target in the back of the net, each one. Oh, sensational. Spain guilty again of giving the ball away. Spain and the Spanish supporters here in Seville are in a state of disbelief because the electronic scoreboard here so, so are we in so are we reads Espania nil England three and we haven't even reached half time yet and everybody was talking about the daunting prospect for this England side against this Spanish side who are a real force or should be a real force and will be a real force in world football but England a 3 nil up and Raheem Sterling like London buses hasn't scored for three years and all of a sudden, he's found two in this first half. This is a terrific scoreline. We were actually in Berlin together uh, with John. 2016, that was the last time where England beat a top nation. And there's been about 10 or 11 games since then. When Roy Hodgson's side beat Germany in Berlin by three goals to two. We actually thought coming here tonight that, that our team might get drubbed tonight. We thought it could be three, four, five. We didn't think it was going to be Spain. We thought it might be England. We didn't. We hoped it certainly wasn't England, but there was a potential there. But wow, England have been absolutely devastating. They've been strong at the back. They've been committed. Jordan, Jordan Pickford probably has got, you could say, nearly two assists in the game. But wonderful play from England's point of view. There's a belief, there's a shape to the team as well, which is good. The three midfield players in the line doing their jobs very well. It's good. Just see it out to half time now. This would give the England youngsters such a shot in the arm in terms of confidence to come to Spain and get the victory. However, Saul turns, chips the ball into the penalty area, Maguire heads it away. Because the accusation was that they hadn't really played anybody of note. Well, believe me, they're playing somebody of note here. Normally you'd say Gremlins in the system. That's probably more like water in the system tonight. You haven't missed anything more importantly. Four minutes to go to half-time. Still England leading by three goals to nil. It is a free kick, though, that Asensio and Alonso are the two players over. It's about 25 yards out from goal. It's right of centre. It's Asensio into the wall. It bounces on that right corner of the penalty area. Trippier will go across to take it. And Trippier then will look for a long ball up towards the halfway line. Sterling looking to flick it on. And Ramos, Ramos even will go all the way back to David De Gea away to our left in green. But again, England, come and press. Spain find themselves under pressure. Rashford goes all the way through towards De Gea, and De Gea then will ping it out towards that far side, towards Alonso. But again, he comes under pressure. This time it's from, from Winks. And England off the ball have done an exceptional job, Terry Butcher. As the back pass towards De Gea is brought under control with his right boot. They have. The shape has been very, very good. The three in front of the, of the back four have worked really hard to get into their shape and then break with the ball whenever they can Thiago forward ball Aspas now takes over 
Rodrigo on this near side. Chilwell back pedals. Rodrigo can't going towards the penalty area past the two of them. Overruns it. Maguire was on hand to clear. Yeah, I think Jordan Pickford was screaming at Harry Maguire to leave that, but he took no chances, put it out with a throw in just on the edge of the box. Here is Thiago. Crossfield ball. Alonso on the volley. Well wide off his uh, left foot from the edge of the area. That was the thing the other night when we were in Rick and there was nobody there. And I thought the two Jordans in particular were the most vocal, Pickford and Henderson, weren't they? Which we, yeah. we could clearly hear. Yeah, but that you can see, I mean, full praise to Gareth Saka. He's got his team well organised. Dyer seemed to be the one at the point of the three, the middle one that's pushed forward onto Busquets. Bartley just gone onto Busquets now because it's a goal kick. Dyer comes into his position, the central of the three. The three in front are the key to England winning the ball back, breaking as well. But Harry, Harry Kane up front, I thought, has been, has been great. He's led the line really well. And alongside him, Sterling and Rashford have been sensational. Here is Kane. Kane, left-hand side of the penalty area. Sterling now takes it over on that corner. Sterling turns, comes under pressure, tries to thread a little short ball towards Harry Kane. And then Harry Kane, uh, sorry, Raheem Sterling has given away a free kick to Spain as we are inside the last two minutes of this first half. Of still, what many people would have said an improbable scoreline of Spain nil, England 3. Sterling 15, Rashford 29 and Sterling 37 are the England goal scorers here as uh, Thiago for a stunned Spanish outfit in Seville. Aspas to Busquets. Ramos now just strokes it across towards Alonso on the left-hand side. Alonso fires over the cross, comes towards Aspas. The angle is tight. Chilwell puts the block in, comes off the back of his calves and out for a corner kick to Spain. Close to half-time. Are they going to take a quick one? Yes, they are. It's short on this near side. Asensio back to Aspas. Cross is delivered deep towards the far post, headed away by Maguire. Trotting after that one will be Ramos. Ramos now to Nacho. Back to the Spanish captain Ramos, who plays it to Busquets, able to turn midway through the England half, inside the last 60 seconds. England still lead 3-0. Plenty of white shirts are back. Cross is delivered deep from the left-hand side. Chilwell will head it away. Thiago heads it away from the penalty area. Stumbled by Johnny. Seized upon by Barkley. Break on for England. Barkley's going. He's got Sterling to his right. He's got Kane desperate to join the attack. He goes central. There's Ross Barkley. Barkley to the D. It breaks towards Sterling. Sterling crosses the ball towards Kane. And then it was... Johnny tracking back to head it in towards De Gea, but again, that was a potential break that England just couldn't take advantage of. Yeah, I think Sterling and, and Rashford and, and Kane are just a little tired because of the running that they've done, and Barkley then had options, but not that many options. Should have hit it, really hit it himself on his right-hand side, checked back in, and in the end, Spain got men back to block it, but uh, good play from England once again. The 45 minutes are up, and we'll see how much added on time there will be. And in fact, there will be no added on time. And as Gareth Southgate turns on his heels and walks down the green steps that will lead to the tunnel here in Seville, he will be a highly, highly satisfied man. Because his young side, the youngest starting 11 in the 21st century, are leading Spain by three goals to nil, two from Sterling, and Rashford's goal sandwiched in between. Terry Butcher. Well, we saw Luis Enrique out there for 20, 25 minutes on the touchline shouting and screaming at his players and instructing them when England went 3-0 up he was straight back in his dugout we didn't see him until half time so you know he, he's got to now think about changing things possibly changing personnel I don't know he won't change the system but he's, the Spanish players just drip, just walking off their heads down they, they look a beaten side they'll certainly keep going in the second half but England's defence is very strong they're squeezed up they they're not allowing Spain to get in behind and they're getting men back behind the ball, blocking it. But when they do block the ball and win the ball back, they've got options up front, they've got pace, they've got strength from Kane as well, and they've got people going to support. And when they lose the ball, they get back into shape. The shape, the discipline, the organisation of this England team has been absolutely fantastic. One word, Mark. Ruthless. Spain nil, England three. Well, they're still waiting for England to come out up the green steps. In fact, everything's green here at the Estadio Benito Villarreal including um, Spanish tummies, I think, after that first half when they were taken apart by England. Extraordinarily so. Two goals for Sterling, one for Rashford. Luis Enrique has clearly sent the Spanish team out. Terry Butcher with a, a flea in their ear. They're out there knocking the ball around, just waiting for England. A Spanish flea in their ear. Spanish yeah. flea in their ear, indeed. But I, I mean, we, do, I mean, we talk about ruthlessness and all that. I think it was almost surgical from England's point of view. It was incisive, it was quick, it was effective, deadly. 
And that, yeah, well, you, Spain team out there now, you can see them just standing about and all this sort of thing. They're saying, well, we're England, we're England. They're doing a good job, actually. Just, uh, just taking their time coming out. They would have regrouped them around. Karasoka in, in at half time would say to them, look, lads, keep the ball. If you're gonna, if, if they score early on, then this crowd will get behind them and they'll, they'll be momentum. Frustrate them, do what you're doing and just keep on doing And here come the England team led by Harry Kane up the steps, all in white, red numbers on the back. Spain are not going to make any substitutions at half-time. I did wonder whether Paco Alcacer might come on in brilliant form on loan at Borussia Dortmund, scored two goals against Wales the other evening. But Luis Enrique is saying to this Spanish team, the old line of you've got yourselves into this position you go and get yourselves out of it so Spain with De Gea in goal back four of Johnny Castro, Nacho Sergio Ramos and Marco Alonso in midfield Busquets who has I, I, can't, I can't remember seeing Sergio Busquets be so off key with Thiago and Saul either side of him and then the front line of Thiago Aspas Marco Asensio and Rodrigo through the middle and the England team tonight with uh, Pickford in goal, a back four of Trippier, Gomez, Maguire and Chilwell, then Dyer, Winks and Barkley, and two goals Sterling, Harry Kane, and scorer of the other England goal, Marcus Rashford. So the second half gets underway. Uh, Ian Dennis and our BBC colleague Phil McNulty have just passed a piece of paper which says the only other time that Spain conceded three goals at home before half time was in 1963 against Scotland when Scotland won 4-2 so all sorts of landmarks this evening Pickford clearing the ball away and he has been instrumental in the goals believe it or not played a big part uh, with his distribution Sergio Ramos heading the ball forward the official attendance inside the stadium tonight just over 50,000 50,355 in what is a uh, 60,000 capacity arena three tiers towering stadium 3,000 plus England fans and fortunately since the start of the match we have had no further rain in Spain and so all of those people thousands of them in the other three stands without roofs are dry here's Barkley inside his own half Ross Barkley as England pass it away but uh, Dyer is caught in possession and now Spain slip it into the penalty area but Maguire is there Maguire takes it away into the full back position on the left and left footed clears it away out of play nearer the halfway line so it is Spain nil, England 3 early minutes of the second half Terry Butcher is with us 77 caps for England England captain at the World Cup in 1990, one of three World Cup squads Terry was a part of. Get a word from Terry in a moment. But Spain coming forward with the ball to Alonso on the left hand side. And Alonso brings it under control, oh. plays it in field. But that is a short of Thiago, and England could break again. And the pass through the middle for Rashford, but Nacho is able to come across and pass it to Sergio Ramos. Plays it behind Alonso. Alonso uh, just back to Sergio Ramos. Left sided central defender Ramos who was born here in Seville although he was a Sevilla man not a Real Betis man in the early stage of his career before his great move to wonderful things at Real Madrid here he is again Sergio Ramos just pulling the ball onto his right foot 32 years old he is now so still plenty of football left on the clock the ball to the right hand side where Johnny Castro takes it on up towards the dead ball line he thought he should have had a corner off Ben Chilwell but the Polish referee Shimon Marciniak says nope goal kick to England Terry Butcher now Ben Chilwell did really well then uh, he read that uh, Aspas was going to go past him uh, he just got his body in the way blocked it let the ball run out I think from the long way up here he, that the Spain might have a case for a corner but uh, luckily from England's point of view all the officials and three of them over there the linesman the one behind the goal and the referee said goal kick BBC 5 Live live here in Seville this wonderful city this beautiful city with Alonso in possession slipping the ball down the line here's Asensio now looks up swings over the left-footed cross but that is cleared away hooked away by Dyer. comes back though for Thiago who, uh, for Saul who controls it but then blazes it wide he actually set it up for himself a touch but then the volley he struck well but wide and high
Saul is not quite Raul, is he? He used to score prolifically for, for Spain, but that was a that was an effort. At least it was an effort on goal. They're just over the bar, didn't trouble Pickford from an angle, just gone with a corner of the penalty area. But uh, that would encourage the, the Spanish crowd certainly uh, and get their heads up because they've had a shot early on in this second half. Brilliant control from Trippier under pressure, controlled the delivery from Pickford near the halfway line. But uh, England now coming forward with Harry Kane on the left-hand side. Rashford's in the middle, but Kane's cross is too close to De Gea, who's able to scoop it up. But England, it feels like every time England break forward, there is a threat there with Kane and Rashford and Sterling. Obviously, Harry Kane hasn't joined in the goal-scoring act yet this evening, but they look a little as though they've been stung by the criticism, the, the England front line of, uh, of misfiring, the chances that were missed in Rijeka on Friday night and uh, wow they've made up for it here ball played across for um, Spain from Thiago but it comes back towards the halfway line here is Busquets winning his 110th cap tonight Busquets now Thiago through the middle and then uh, England back in place but the ball is passed from the right hand side by Aspas now a low ball in from Alonso that's gone a long way shot on the turn from Asensio is deflected wide and it flicks the side netting and it seemed as though that was goal bound and it shaved the post on the way past into the side netting the outside netting corner to Spain from the right England don't want to concede one here in it goes to the near post and it's headed away calmly and securely for England by Eric Dyer and eventually it's out of play for a throw in to England yeah the cross from uh, was it Alonso play the cross in I think it was it was yeah. behind everybody the balls that Spain have been putting in have been blocked by England fullbacks all the time but this time they just cut it back and it and it went into the box it was a good turn from the Spanish player and his shot was going goal back and it deflected off Joe Gomez and it was going towards that near post I thought that's going into the back of the net but uh luckily for England it just shaved the post the wrong side from Spain's point of view and went for a, for a corner but narrow escape from England's point of view all coming from a, a cross that deceived everybody in the box Terry how would you sum up Spain tonight what's, what's, what's been wrong with them I think they've been sloppy and then they've been really sloppy Dyer, uh, Barkley has bundled over centre field by Thiago I think that some of their passing has been very poor um, they've been sloppy as well when it comes to marking they've been sloppy as well when it comes to distribution so yeah they've, they've paid for that a bit of complacency as well well probably complacency but I wouldn't say so much complacency I would say they're not being allowed to play by England this England have stopped them and as Guillaume quite rightly said they've filled the gaps filled the spaces where the Spanish midfield like to operate and they've played in front of England all the time then Chilwell's bundled over on the halfway line free kick to England Dyer swings a high ball out to the right hand side Sterling who's on a hat trick is um, able to control it and play it back towards the halfway line we've talked quite a bit haven't we about that game in 1987 the last time an England team won in Spain against Spain Gary Lineker scored four goals that day England scored four goals here they've got three the ball in front of the Spanish penalty area Aspas with a touch to the right Johnny then brings it forward uh, Aspas makes a little run in field and now here he is in possession the Celta Vigo the former Liverpool man he all oh, rolls it straight through the middle Asensio went one way the ball ran straight through to Jordan Pickford and Aspas is, is saying to Asensio come on but it's just not happening for Spain tonight no it's not happening uh, England defending pretty well they always look they always look sharp on the break England with the three forwards it's three against three sometimes when it comes to Spain with a, a fullback trying to join in from from Spanish point of view on the opposite flank and, and England's control their understanding their passing has been radar like really Spain nil England three but Spain now with a ball through for Rodrigo to chase but it's overhit from Aspas through to Pickford so three goals in the first half two from Sterling which you think was the pick of them the first one that was a beauty wasn't everyone's, it everyone's everyone's John I'm just delighted with everyone the first one was Pickford out to Kane and then Kane to Rashford on the left great ball from Rashford across to Sterling who drilled it he caught it beautifully into the top left corner that was his first goal in 28 England appearances Kane was involved in the second one as well slipped it across to Rashford Marcus Rashford scored four in his last six England starts now and then uh, the third goal was a good one as well Barkley and Kane and then finished off by Sterling two goals on the night for Raheem Sterling in England Olays Olays from the England supporters here in Seville 
as England knock the ball around against the former world champions. And here is Rashford who turns away, but the whistle has gone, I think. It has. Uh, the referee, as he brought it right back towards the halfway line for, for an England free kick. Yeah, well, was it the foul on Gomez? Aspas and Dyer. So Ian Dennis just told me. So it's a free kick. Yeah, I'm not too sure, but it is a free kick to England just inside, or well, 10 yards inside the half. Yeah. So um, that was unfortunate because Rashford had got the better of Sergio Ramos again, not for the first time, and he was in on goal. Still Bosnia and Herzegovina won Northern Ireland nil in the other Nations League involving the home nations tonight. Free kick towards the edge of the area, headed away. Oh, Sterling tripped right on the edge of the box by Johnny Castro. Referee says not a foul. Sterling is still down inside the penalty area. Spain breaking forward, put a brilliant turn by Thiago. Now to the right-hand side, Asbat plays it across, but Rodrigo's touch is poor. And England are able to see it back to Pickford, who clears downfield. What about that? Should that have been a free kick? Mm -hmm. Right on the edge of the penalty area well, he's, of England? He's still down, Raheem Sterling as well. He's still down, referee not blowing up. Spain not kicking the ball out, and why should they? Because he's down in the box. But England, England have got to kick it out or win the ball back. Spain coming forward, ball into the penalty area, bounces off Maguire. Now the Spanish fans are shouting for a penalty. Aspas went down, uh, the ball runs all the way back now for a low shot from Saul. But down goes Pickford, who's able to hold it down to his left. And at the other end of the field, to our right, Sterling does now get back to his feet and walks back towards the halfway line. And uh, Spain are going to make a double change. Ten minutes played in the second half. And Luis Enrique has seen enough. So young Danny Ceballos of Real Madrid is going to, to come on. And also Paco Alcacer, who is in brilliant goal-scoring form for his club. Borussia Dortmund and also scoring two goals against Spain the other night offside flag is up against Rodrigo who's had a wretched time up front this evening I suspect he's going to um, not see too much more action this evening uh, it's a free kick to England after that offside call Raheem Sterling is going to the referee and um, obviously making a point that he feels he was fouled on the edge of the box and the first change then for Spain sees Saul make way from the midfield so um, Danny Ceballos will replace him and in actual fact it's Thiago Aspas who is going to be replaced by uh, Paco Alcacer Thiago Aspas and uh, Danny Ceballos is, is cheered onto the field because he was a Real Betis player in the early stages of his career he was he was at Sevilla was released by Sevilla and Real Betis took him on and eventually he was sold to Real Madrid so that's a popular substitution with the home supporters and um, it was a foul television replays on uh, Raheem Sterling I think it was just outside the penalty area but he had his foot stood on but it wasn't given so um, it remains 3-0 to England if you've just got back into your car if you're on your way home from work a late finish yep 3-0 England lead in Spain in this late Nations League group match and here is Ceballos into the action playing it square to Thiago now the ball out towards the right hand side and uh, Spain with possibilities here the cross into the box Alonso is there oh it's been juggled behind by Pickford who um, on the half volley tried to scoop it up and he's just shoveled it straight behind for a corner that was a cheap one yeah I know it was the block beforehand the ball was spinning he tried to save it for a corner but in the end there's, it is a corner now on the right hand side here it is Asensio into the near post near post flick it's in Alcacer has scored within seconds of coming onto the field and Spain have a goal back Spain won England three and that is just what they needed high fives all round and now this is going to be a test for this young England team. Paco Alcacer in hot form. I'm not sure why he didn't start the game, really. That is now three goals in two matches on his international return. And with just over half an hour to play, things have become interesting again. Spain 1, England 3. Yep, soft goal from England's point of view. Ball to the near post on the corner, just dinked it in and it was unbelievably just glanced in Harry Kane's on that near post he's been guilty of just ball watching sometimes but on this occasion Alcacer gets in front of him and just glances it to the far post England don't have anybody on the far post it just drifts into the empty net Spain have got a lifeline
So that is, for Paco Alcacer, that is 10 goals in his last six appearances for club and country. And actually, Guillaume Balaguer has just come across and has shown us a note that says that Alcacer has scored those 10 goals with his, fir with his last 10 attempts on target. So 10 attempts on target and he scored 10 goals. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? 10 out of 10. That's not bad. Yeah, top that mark, is 10 top mark, yeah. Right. Test the character now, Terry, for the England team. Yep. Still have a two-goal lead. Yeah, but this is what this is what the crowd wanted. Not what England wanted, but they'll have to defend now. As uh, Ceballos is blocked by Sterling. The crowd are up now. Obviously, the vast majority Spanish supporters. We've got red and yellow all around the three tiers, apart from the England section. We thought it was going to be full of Paraguas tonight, the stadium, with all of the rain. But no one needs a Paraguas because the rain has stopped. We, we could have done with a Paraguas, or several Paraguas, here before we got here because of the rain. Yes. But, uh, oh, we see Luis Enrique's out on the touchline now, Spain have scored. There we go. Here he is. Yep. And, um, and now England with Trippier volleying it away. And then um, challenge from Sergio Ramos, who is all on the top of Harry Kane, and the free kick has been given away of the England captain. Ramos is down on the ground, riding around. Um, referee Marciniak's leaving, leaning over him and um, just seeing how he is as, uh, as the late great Jimmy Armfield would say I think he'll live, Sergio <laughs> Ramos he's called on the medical people there's a man on a suit who's run onto the field and uh, the medical people are on as well it's more concern really over Harry Kane who's, who's down lying on his yeah, feet yeah, Harry Kane didn't jump and the ball was over, over his head uh, and he's trying to, to bring the ball down and Ramos just goes clattering into him and he's banged his side, his left side is Ramos he's down writhing about but he's, Harry Kane is just lying there with face down on the pitch it's being seen to by the England medical staff and the England players taking this opportunity to come over for a drink and I think a bit of a pep talk from, from Gareth Southgate just to, I would say just, just be calm, do your jobs just don't, don't like they've scored a goal you know, keep on going, you'll get more, you'll get more opportunities but be strong and, and keep believing and uh, you know the way that uh, I mean, it was out of the blue really I think it was, was it their first shot on target from Spain I'm not too sure I think it was Terry yeah yeah. Um, yes the, Thiago had the shot in the first half the curling shot that Pickford was able to take down um, which, which actually was in the build up to the second goal that's it, right really? it was yeah it was an yeah. assist wasn't it <laughs> from the Spanish player yeah <laughs> And um, Harry Kane now, Sergio Ramos is OK, he's on his feet, he's been taken off the field or walked off the field, he will have to come back on. So the score now, Spain 1, England 3, this is BBC Radio 5 Live. Do get in touch at 5 Live Sport on social media, if you want to have your say on this, we're on it, or half past ten tonight. We'll try and bring you interviews from the tunnel area, Gareth Southgate will be talking to us and the England players about whatever happens over the course of the next almost half hour. Still, Bosnia, Herzegovina 1, Northern Ireland 0. And tomorrow night, live from Dublin, Republic of Ireland against Wales. Just while we've still got this stoppage, um, the Premier League commentaries resume this weekend with Chelsea against Manchester United from 12.30. And we also have West Ham Tottenham at 3 o'clock on Saturday. So two really good games on Saturday to listen to on 5 Live Sport. England leading. 3-1 here Harry Kane and Sergio Ramos just slapped each other on the back and uh, back on the field and they're both OK here's Harry Winks through the middle second appearance for England uh, and then Sterling is, is fouled he's tripped just forward of the centre circle uh, frustration from the home fans the atmosphere has changed here markedly Winks takes the free kick short to his right Eric Dyer is there back to Winks then back to Dyer they're being put under pressure so Dyer is going all the way back to Jordan Pickford Pickford has taken a couple of touches. He's got uh, Cruyff turn. He's lost possession. Pickford oh, is able to tackle back and put it behind. And oh. now has a penalty been given? No, it's a corner. It's been given as a corner. Well, the Spanish players are surrounding the referee. They feel that Pickford committed a foul there and it should be a, a penalty. There is a little bit of pushing and shoving as well amongst uh, a number of Spanish and English players. Uh, the referee is backing away. It is a corner. That's what's been given. Uh, Jordan Pickford took one touch, probably two touches, possibly three touches, too many there. And was rather fortunate that Spain didn't score a second goal. It is only a corner, though. Wow, lucky, lucky Jordan Pickford. He made a right hash of that. I thought he fouled 
the player, the Spanish player going towards it. I'm not too sure who it was. I think that was a certain penalty. Unbelievable. The Spanish fans in front of us can't believe it. The Spanish players can't believe it. I can't believe it. And it's a corner. Wow, well, a lucky let off there. Big let off. Big let off. If Spain had scored a second goal there, then um, good luck, England. So Spain scored from the corner that they had. The last corner from the right hand side. Alcacer's near post header. This time Asensio, it's a poor one. And it was easily cleared away. Didn't hit, didn't clear the first defender. Spain have it back with Ceballos. Ceballos and Alcacer have certainly lifted this Spanish performance. And um, Spain with Busquets who goes back towards the halfway line. Spain are incensed. They felt that that should have been a penalty. The Spanish player looked certain to score until Pickford put in the tackle on him. Spain coming forward again. Cross to the back post but it's headed away by Trippier. And it was Rodrigo, you know, the Spanish player, Terry, who was in there. And Pickford actually tackled him like a central defender's tackle, went down and swept the ball away. But Luis Enrique was hopping around on the touchline. Here's the latest corner. Delivery towards the back post. It's come off an England head back right across the face of goal from Rashford and bounces wide of the post and behind for another corner. Pressure yeah. here. Yeah. Pressure here, Terry, for England. Nerves of steel are required. They certainly are big pressure here's the latest corner delivery this has gone a long way and is headed away by Rashford who stretched for it and now England break with Marcus Rashford who's streaking away down the left hand side still going uh, and then he is challenged by Asensio who tracked him back all the way and blocked it out for a throw in to England that is just what England needed to relieve the pressure you can say uh, that was Asensio playing the ball right? this crowd is in Asensio because it's, it's going bananas they're just every tackle every ball they're just going crazy here they urging this Spanish team to get another goal. Another goal that could be, well, you know, the mind goes back to Old Trafford last uh, last Saturday night when Manchester United yeah, exactly. produced that comeback against Newcastle. Just had the momentum. And if they were to get a second goal and make it 3-2, then uh, this England, this young England team would face a true test of their nerve and ability. And you can hear the crowd in this wonderful city of Seville with its beautiful parks and magnificent buildings and its palm trees and its horses and carriages and we've got quite a football match here to watch and enjoy to add to the attractions of this great city 3-1 England lead Spain in possession though inside the England half the ball is passed forward by Busquets now out to the right hand side where it's uh, played back more centrally and um, Ceballos turns left of the centre circle Ceballos turns in field again a little ball to the edge of the box it could open up yet oh and it just runs away to Alonso Alonso's ball into the area a 1-2 Alonso's ball across his lifted and scooped up and caught on the half volley by the England goalkeeper yeah. Jordan Pickford all of a sudden England looked very very tired a look at Harry Kane up there he just took a batting as well Harry, Harry Maguire's gone down injured Maguire has sat down on the ground hence the reaction from the, the home supporters yeah Pickford's planted the ball out of play well, this could be change needed Terry I think the change needed up front just to give a bit more legs these front three have worked unbelievably hard in closing down and then breaking with the ball as well but lots of inexperience on the England bench oh my goodness so who do you call on it's 55 caps on the England bench and Carl Walker's got 42 of them yeah Who's so Alexander-Arnold Dunk Chalabar Mason Mount Madison and Jaden Sancho yeah. are the outfield players well, we're halfway through the second half Terry Butcher with us here in Seville on 5 Live Maguire is still down and in fact um, the golf buggy has been brought onto the, the field so there is concern over Harry Maguire but as I say halfway through the second half here on 5 Live and here's Ian Dennis to take you through to the end it could be a nerve tingler Ian it certainly could thank you John just to follow that conversation you were having with John Terry Gareth Southgate did say yesterday in the press conference that Jaden Sancho is likely to feature after of course making his debut in Rick on Friday night well the, the, the only thing John um, Ian is that you take off if Harry Kane goes off you put Rashford center forward and Sancho on one of the wings but it would be, be hard to take Harry Kane off because you want leadership you want someone to hold the ball up someone to fight Ramos and Nacho at the back as well 
England's players in the past have been accused of not having game management. Now, whether that was a timely introduction to drop to the floor, Harry Maguire, it might have fired up the crowd, but it's just taken a little bit of a sting out of the play on the pitch because they were building a lot of momentum. Spain 1, England 3, BBC Radio 5 Live, here inside the Estadio Benito Via Marine, and we have got some finish for you. And just think of what Jurgen Klopp said about the Nations League being the most, what was it, senseless competition in the world. Well, this is a meaningful match. It certainly beats a mind-numbing friendly, and it is contested. Every decision is being contested. It means so much for both sets of players. As England lead 3-1, in all white, playing from left to right. Spain, red shirts, royal blue shorts there from right to left. Busquets midway through the England half. England, though, are on the back foot. They need that two-goal cushion after leading 3-0 at the break. Ceballos, is he going to shoot from long range? He runs forward, lays it off, continues his run. England at the minute are sitting very, very deep. Out towards Alonso, downward header into the penalty area. Hooked away by Gomez. It's going to be collected by Nacho, who goes all the way back. England's white shirts now can push on out. David De Gea collects the ball. Cries of España, España from this crowd of over 50,000. Three-tiered bowl. 15,000 of them turned up yesterday just to watch a public training session. It's the first time in 23 years that this stadium has hosted an international match. They have a very proud record at uh, Sevilla, the Estadio Sanchez-Pizuan, where the national side have never lost an international fixture. They've only lost the one game here, that was back in 91. They're in danger of losing again, however, this proud record that they have, undefeated since home games, uh, since 2003, they're not going to go down without a fight, as England need to be brave on the ball again, as they were in the first half. Maguire digs it out from inside his penalty area, cut out by the head of Busquets. Maguire, though, dives into the challenge. <laughs> And he's been penalised, and Maguire has shown a yellow card. I've got to say, I thought he got the ball. But you'll be better judged than I am, Terry Butcher. Maguire has yep. shown a yellow. You're spot on. He got the ball, but it was a strong challenge. The Spanish player went down as if he'd been struck really, really hard. He's up on his feet now. Nothing wrong with him at all. But the referee saying that was an over-aggressive tackle. Probably called it reckless. I mean, reckless equals a yellow card. I didn't see that. The referee now has a free kick. It's probably about... Six or seven, oh, oh, seven or eight yards outside the box, 25, 26 yards out, slight angle on the right hand side. Alonso's there. I think I'll be Alonso to take this one. Well, because it's right of centre, and as Terry says, it's just over 25 yards out, it would suit the left foot of Marcus Alonso. England lead 3 1. Tiago is also there. Spain are going to be making their third and final change. Alvaro Morata is the player who's going to be coming on. Bosnia have just got a second goal against Northern Ireland in B3. It's Alonso. It's left footed. It's over the crossbar. It's a goal kick. 3 1 England. Terry Butcher. We've got to be careful, England now. Morata's coming on. And the, line, the fourth official is. What does he put up there? He's put zero coming on for zero. Well, he's probably given the crowd attendance of Croatia last Friday. Well, who's coming on? He's still fiddling around with the electronic board. There we go. And it is uh, Rodrigo who comes off for Alvaro Morata. The Chelsea forward who uh, made his return against Wales. He'd missed the previous 11 internationals. His last goal was against Costa Rica in his previous appearance, November 2017. And England also are going to be making a change. And it's Kyle Walker who is going to be coming on. Gareth Southgate is going to be making his first change here in Seville. England lead by three goals to one. But we're going to have a nervy 17 minutes on BBC Radio 5 Live. Ceballos. One of the three changes made by Luis Enrique, charged down and will run through to uh, to Jordan Pickford, who uh, certainly he was very, very fortunate. Oh my he? goodness gracious oh. me. I did, we just seen the Harry Maguire uh, yellow card and looking at that, it was a reckless challenge. I mean, he did play the ball, it was reckless. Gomez brings the card. ball out of defence and plays the ball forward offside against Marcus Rashford. That was tight. Gareth Southgate turns away in frustration, both Sterling and Rashford. We're trying to break through. Free kick's been taken by Spain, who are seeing so much of the ball. Here is Busquets in the centre circle on the halfway line. Walker waits to come on. Ramos plays it forward. Thiago comes under pressure from Dyer. Releases it to Busquets. Across towards Johnny. 
The Wolverhampton Wanderers player on that far side, the right. Spain playing from right to left. Thiago once again. England with their white shirts. Everybody behind the ball. Busquets comes towards Thiago. He's going to come under pressure straight away from Winks. But patiently, Spain will play the ball forward. Edging their way towards the England penalty area. Asensio. Looks to turn, plays it forward, gets the ball back there from Johnny, who stayed in the attack. He now makes a darting run out towards that right-hand side, not spotted. Spain go back, they'll build again. England, just moving across, shuffling across the line. Nacho, out towards Busquets, they're having to be patient on the home side. A lot of movement ahead of the ball, Ceballos, closed down by Dyer. Thiago, across towards the left-hand side, Alonso provides the width, almost level with the penalty area. Goes back inside, Ramos looks up, right footed ball, in towards the penalty area. Alcacer was trying to get on the end of that as well, cleared away. In fact, he must be due another goal soon, his, his average for goals this season is one every 27 minutes, such is his prolific nature for Spain and Borussia Dortmund. As uh, Chilwell has gone down, and now we might see the introduction of Kyle Walker. However, there's going to be a yellow card that is going to be shown, and that was shown, I think, to Johnny yeah it was Johnny yeah absolutely good play by England good play by Chilwell as well he took a touch inside away from Johnny played it out wide and Johnny followed through and caught the England player but uh, England can't afford to be too deep they've got to try and keep up Eric Dyer now this, Eric Dyer coming off well Eric Dyer's come across towards this near side no, he can't be coming off no that's what Gareth's just giving him instructions on that I, I looked at Harry Kane I think Harry Kane has a spent force up there you know I know he won the header for just giving the possession then but he looks shattered to me. I'll be tempted to play. I just wonder if they're going to switch if they're to, going a three. to a three. Yeah, yeah three, five, two. No, no, Bartley's coming off. So they, they might well do that then. They might go to a three. Do you think? Yeah. No, they're just saying no. They can't. They've still got. They've got three forwards on there at the moment. They don't want to go three, four, three. That's for sure. Let's see. Carl Walker runs on. He's having a word with Kieran Trippier. Yeah. I think they are going to go to a three. Walker slotted yeah, three. in on the right-hand side. So England have now gone to a three at the back. Walker, Gomez and Maguire. Okay. Trippier then becomes the right wing back. Chilwell pushes on the left wing back and it leaves Dyer and Winks in the centre of midfield with Kane and Sterling. England in all white playing from left to right, leading by three goals to one. Kane will head the ball forward. They were ruthless in the first half. They're going to have to be resilient in the second. Kane. Ball play forward, Sterling, Ramos is going to cover though and get there before Sterling on the edge of the penalty area. Feeds the ball to Johnny. We've got 14 minutes remaining on BBC Radio 5 Live. Here is Ceballos, Alonso to the left of him. I think Steve Holland is getting instructions across to become a little bit narrower for England, more compact. Yeah, switching by his, uh, his hand movements to the players. But Spain is seeing so much of the ball. England, though, again drop off. Here is Alonso towards Ramos. Ramos spreads play across towards Johnny. Johnny controls the ball right-footed, then turns. Beats a jumping Chilwell. Sends over the cross in towards the penalty area. Comes towards Alcacer. He sliced it effort on the half volley on the edge of the area. Sterling will try and pick up the ball over on that far side. He's then fouled there. He's held, is Ryan Sterling. And the Polish referee will give a free kick. Should be a yellow. Yeah, it should be. Busquets clearly held him, stopped his run. In fact, he's just let off with a warning. What about that? That's awful. That's awful. On Friday night, players are getting booked for less than that. To yeah, they were. Yeah. yeah. But it's, even they've gone, they've gone like a 3-4-3. Sterling on the left, Rashford on the right, spread really to stop the Spanish fullbacks. And Kane's going to have to work between the two centers. So that means Spain have got an extra man in that midfield section. So Winks and Dyer have got to really, really be disciplined and stay in front of the England back, back five now. So England have made the change. They had to make the change because uh, they were in danger of being overrun by Spain. As uh, Bias will pick up the ball. He's seeing a lot of the ball as he came on as a substitute in this second half. Thiago prods it back under pressure. England still trying to work hard there in the midfield. That was Winks. As Ramos now to Alonso over the halfway line on this near side, the left. 12 minutes of normal time remain. Spain 1, England 3. Ramos... Ceballos gets away from the snapping challenge of, uh, of Rashford. Nacho, again, patient play by Spain. Busquets across towards that far side. Johnny Chilwell goes to close him down. Thiago, Harry Kane is, all, is in close proximity. Thiago quickly releases the ball. 
Ramos to Alonso. Alonso 10 yards in from the touchline to Ramos. Plays it forward. Busquets not hurting England at the moment, but they feed the ball out towards the right-hand side. Cross comes in, cleared by Chilwell, picked up now by Winks. Goes to ground, no foul, says the Polish referee. Winks springs back to his feet, has to get back into position. Asensio plays it inside, Morata is there. Asensio tries to pick up the loose ball. Spain still have it, the red shirts of Spain dominating. Trailing 3-1, BBC 5 live. Here is Busquets once again, cross for ball. Central position is Ramos, across now towards Ceballos, comes inside, can't get the right footed shot away as he continues to drift in field. Busquets waits, Busquets into a crowded penalty area, comes off the head of Gomez. Rashford back there helping out, will try and bring the ball away. Rashford runs down this near touchline, loses the ball. Alcacer works over a curling effort and Pickford in the end has to move back onto both feet on his goal line and pat the ball down for that curling shot. Alcacer is unbelievable, isn't he? As soon as he sees the goal, whether he's wide or whether he's through the middle, he shoots on target again. Good save. England have lost the ball. Morata tries to wriggle away from Maguire. Morata sends over the cross. I think uh, Maguire had a little bit of a tangle there and in a no-nonsense approach, he just threw Johnny to the ground. <laughs> it did, didn't he? He's like a rag doll, wasn't he? He just got the wrong side and Johnny tried to block him going into, back into his own box and he just said, get out of the way. The referee was right there, saw it, didn't deem it to be a foul. It would have got, uh, it would have won a wrestling competition, I think. That was butcheresque. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Ten minutes remain of normal time. Walker with a throw. Goes long on this near side. Ramos will beat Kane. High ball. Headed away by Gomez. Kane comes back to help out, plays it across towards Chilwell. Good defensive work by the England captain. Chilwell now comes forward. Chilwell to Sterling. Player's gone down off the ball there with it. Chilwell didn't see anything on that. Kane now latched off the ball in the penalty area. Kane going in for that challenge with Ramos, shoulder to shoulder. And Kane wants to try and prevent Ramos from taking the, uh, the quick goal kick, but it's going to be hurriedly taken by David De Gea because they know if they can get another goal to reduce the arrears just to the one, and it will set up a frantic finish and England then will be on the ropes. As it is, it's Spain 1, England 3. Nine minutes of normal time remaining. Plenty of vocal encouragement from Steve Holland. Just behind Gareth Southgate, who still looks calm and relaxed somehow. Certainly on the exterior anyway in his technical area as he stands and watches on. Busquets. Finds Ramos. Peter the drum will spark a chant of España, España. Alonso to Ramos once again. Dyer tries to close him down. Dyer then quickly gets back into position as Thiago now takes over. Just forward of the centre circle. Spreads play across towards the right-hand side. Keep looking up to see the electronic board. It's ticking ever so slowly. <laughs> Here is Thiago's central position. Across towards Alonso. Alonso plays it down this left flank playing from right to left back with Ramos once again in field Thiago long way from goal plays it in field a long diagonal ball Asensio Thiago first time out towards Alcacer goes back towards Thiago outside the penalty area shoots low off target Jordan Pickford had it covered goal kick England who still lead 3-1 uh, Jordan Pickford won't mind that at all if he's going to shoot like that but he's got to be under more pressure Eric Dyer's working like a Trojan on the edge of the box with Harry Winks two against three they're having to shuffle across but England can't go too deep into that penalty area they have to make sure that they come out and that push that, the, the back five come out that pushes England's midfield on it pushes the strikers on and they just clear that danger so any through ball then goes through to Jordan Pickford but this is about discipline this is about game management this is where you learn your craft as a young England player you learn how to win games how to close games out it's not over yet and that scoreboard is going so slow it's unbelievable and the average age of this starting 11 was just over 23 Maguire clears for England picked up by Busquets now with Ramos just outside the centre circle they're going to come again as Spain across towards Alonso on this near side Rashford will file across goes back to Ramos on the halfway line Johnny's in space on that right hand side Chilwell then quickly closes him down gets there Johnny tries to come away Johnny gets away from the challenge now Asensio Asensio with a shot just wide Pickford saw it late diving low to his left 
very, very close. Goal kick. England still have a two-goal cushion. Every time they shoot here, I think they're going to score because there's Asensio coming inside. Harry Wings got to him, but not early enough. Squeezed the shot off. It was about 23, 24 yards out, so it's from a long way. Two shots from a long way. Haven't really troubled Pickford. They've gone wide. It's Spain are knocking on this door. England are going to make their second substitution. It's going to be Trent Alexander-Arnold who is uh, going to be coming on. Just having some final instructions before he's um, thrown into the fray for what will be the closing six minutes and maybe we might not see Jadon Sancho after all. As Dyer, who's on a yellow card, could be in trouble here. The Polish referee, well the Spanish players were looking for a second yellow to be shown as he just caught uh, Alcacer but the, uh, the Polish referee said straight away no action will be taken Trippier and it's Trippier who's going to be coming off so Trippier who I think he said was the oldest player in the squad wasn't it after yep. McCarthy had, so he's 27 and yep. he's now going to be replaced by but Carl, Trent Alexander-Arnold who's what 20? yep but Kyle Walker's on and he's 28 as well so it's not <laughs> pushes the average up a little bit just a little bit yeah so Alexander Arnold is on playing at right wing back for his fourth cap for his country with just over five minutes of normal time remaining there would be I imagine at least three minutes of added on time Alonso sends over a cross there's a pasty ball in from the left hand side headed away by Gomez Thiago's header actually directs the ball away from the penalty area it'll be retrieved by Busquets now towards Nacho Ramos again every outfield player is in the England half away to our left hand side as the electronic scoreboard ticks now to 85 minutes and above it Spain 1 England 3 Ceballos Thiago Thiago's curling ball out towards Johnny level the penalty area on the right hand side Asensio wants the ball played to his feet Johnny holds on to it Busquets though will deliver the ball to Asensio who makes the run out towards that right touch line Johnny stayed forward as well Johnny's cross into the penalty area Morata couldn't di direct his head a goal was fired back across by Alonso still hasn't been dealt with Alcacer's first shot blocked cleared and Spain have the ball once again and England at the moment are hanging on despite leading by three goals to one cannoned around there like a pinball machine Ceballos across to Asensio Asensio right corner of the penalty area Busquets plays it in early headed away by Dyer. England though continue to try and hold firm out towards Ceballos comes in field Rashford will track him plays it a little bit short Rashford gets that 50-50 challenge against Ramos and Rashford then is away and he gets so well he was impeded surely from the diving challenge of uh, Ceballos and he's shown a yellow card because it did hamper his run to his credit he tried to stay on his feet but Ceballos quite rightly books I think Ceballos was angry because Marcus Rashford seemed to pull him back just when he played the ball down the line Marcus Rashford's arm came across I thought there was a little bit of a tug referee way play on the lines and didn't see it either and then Sebastian was angry and he fouled Marcus Rashford gives England a heck of a breather as well just inside the Spanish half wide on the right hand side Walker on the ball it's, uh, it's, get your breather as best you can lads and hang on but uh, they spread the play out to Chilwell on the left good ball the third and final change will be Nathaniel Chalabar who's going to be coming on when he spoke to John Murray the other day, he had an incredible uh, memory. Bearing in mind, he's made 97 appearances for England at youth level. And John asked him, he said, can you remember your first one? And he said, yeah, I was about 13 or 14. It was the victory shield against Northern Ireland in Ballymena. But this one would matter the most. His first senior cap. And it's going to be for the last three, four minutes inside the Estadio Benito Villa Marine with England on the verge of a famous win when he will make his England debut Asensio comes forward beaten out by Pickford and it then just struck the shins of Morata and goes out of play for a goal kick that could have gone anywhere off Morata's knees England still lead 3-1 Nathaniel Chalabar coming on what a proud moment this will be for his England debut well I think if Spain knew it wasn't to be their night that was the moment Pickford palmed the ball out it hit Morata on the knees and went agonisingly about a foot wide of the right hand post for a goal kick lucky let off for England again we'll have a couple in this second half the other thing to say as well is that Chalabar is recovering from a fractured kneecap he's only made three appearances for, uh, for Watford but he is a player who Gareth Southgate rates extremely highly 
Spain. Forward, Alcacer, held up there by Walker, who turns and will clear. He'll find Dyer. Dyer then goes back. Trent Alexander Arnold will clear long downfield. England still lead by three goals to one as Rashford then oh. battles after that ball. De Gea comes out of his penalty area, plays it short and forward towards Johnny, back towards De Gea. De Gea was ready to collect it himself until it was natural. He said, no, I'll do that. You get back in goal. Yeah, I thought that was Neuer from Germany for a moment there. Here is Tobias once again. A rendition of the English anthem bellowed out by those 4,000 fans high up away to our left hand side Thiago roundly booed and whistled by the Spanish supporters Busquets looking towards Johnny Johnny plays it in towards the penalty area goes across the face of goal comes out to Alcacer on this near side the left Ramos joins the attack Ramos looks up sends in the cross headed away Sterling inside his penalty area will try and roll away from Johnny Sterling is up against two Spanish players Morata and Johnny but there was a foul there on Sterling by Morata that will be an England free kick and we're now inside the last 60 seconds of normal time and patiently Chalaba waits to come on I'll tell you what Raheem Sterling I, I would say Raheem Sterling's played his best game for England what do you think Ian? Yeah, yeah. I think would, uh, his best game is not just the goals he scored his work rate how he's kept the ball how he's put the Spanish team under pressure uh, yeah it's first class absolutely first class he's given hope to England he's taken the ball into corners got the free kick on the far side there he's run and run and run this front three uh, will be absolutely shattered it's going to be Winks who's coming off so Nathaniel Chalabar will come on and what a proud moment this will be for Nathaniel Chalabar as I said 97 appearances for England at youth level but to pull on the England shirt the three Lions for your first appearance at a senior level as he just touches the ground Nathaniel Chalabar making his England debut is a night that he will always remember and it's a night that England's football might always remember as they lead Spain by three goals to one and we're into added on time haven't seen how much added on time there was from the, uh, the fourth official as the uh, 90 minutes are already up on that electronic scoreboard away to our left-hand side, which is just going to add to the suspense even further. All the fourth official has got to do, that's his job, is to put the board up and see how many minutes are left or out of time. That's all he's got to do in the game. He hasn't done it yet. Alonso. Or has he done it yet? Well, if he hasn't missed it, Ramos plays yeah. it over the top, looking towards the run of Morata. Pushes into the back of Kyle Walker, quickly back onto his feet, cross, strikes the face of Gomez and goes behind for a corner kick. Corner kick to Spain, who still remember, need to score two more goals, as Thiago will hurriedly come across towards this near side. Bit of jostling in the penalty area. Thiago to take it. Goes deep towards that far post. The red shirts are up. And the runs behind. And it will be a goal kick. Much to the relief of, of England. And they've had to show two sides, haven't they, this performance tonight. They were terrific going forward in the first half. And in the second half, they've had a little bit of luck with a Pickford error that could easily have been a penalty. So they have rode their luck but they've also had to dig in they've shown character they've shown character and a young team as well such a young team could easily have wilted under this Spanish pressure they had to come out in the second half Spain and produce football they have done haven't created many clear cut opportunities the one they did create was founder Jordan Pickford giving them that chance should have been a penalty wasn't given in and get away with it but their work rate and their effort tonight has been absolutely magnificent Alexander Arnold in the Spanish half and that hasn't happened so many times in the last 20 minutes or so Sterling with the back heel didn't come off it stopped there seven minutes seven minutes have added on time which we're now into they put it up on the board <laughs> Thiago Don't well, go I wasn't away. expecting that don't go away folks stay with us stay with us anything could still happen Thiago Asensio head down Rashford who certainly got back and helped he's done his shift as a, in a defensive capacity without a doubt tonight goes out for a throw taken quickly by Spain nobody's going anywhere inside this stadium in Seville cross fired in from the right hand side Walker was up early to head the ball away help further clear by the head of Sterling comes out to Ramos Ramos diagonal ball Maguire tries to prod it away comes to Busquets heads it little flick didn't quite come off Alexander-Arnold then will clear he tried to find Harry Kane that was intercepted by Thiago 
Here is Ceballos. The possession stats will show complete and utter domination from Spain. But they cannot find a way through. Gomez marshals that defence. Ceballos. Busquets takes it. Forward ball. Asensio in the penalty area. Sends over the cross. And the header drops over the top. And it will be a goal kick. The header from Alcacer. Never troubling Pickford. The England fans are celebrating high up there. And very soon, Gareth Southgate and the England players will be too. Ian, it's not over yet. Don't say those things. It's not over. I mean, we've got six minutes left, is it? Well, because the, the fourth official, we don't know when it actually started, the seven minutes. No, I think we've got... Look, it's not working. Not so much, ah, right. We've had three. We've had three, so we've got another four minutes to go. Three, yeah. Good. Four just, minutes just, remaining. Just, just, time, just time the ball on egg. Cleared away by, uh, by Pickford. Kane's header. Rashford will head it back towards the England captain. Goes into that challenge with Nacho and chases after it. And then barges Nacho out of the way. Nacho didn't take kindly to that. <laughs> Leading from the front, the England captain, Terry Butcher, certainly did. Oh, wonderful. 50-50 challenge. Used his shoulder, Harry Kane. Not a foul. Throw in. And it was a great dive by Nacho as well. And he went, he went out into the crowd. Here is Alonso. Infield, Thiago. All you can hear is English voices in Seville. Asensio comes forward, though, over on that far side. Johnny with the cross, cut out by Chilwell. Tries to get to that loose ball. Johnny to Thiago. First time layup, comes back towards Thiago. To Johnny. Johnny's cross takes a deflection and loops goalwards. And Jordan Pickford, stumbling back to his goal line, catches the ball and then falls to the ground. He did well because it was going over his head and he, he caught it. And his momentum was going to take him in the back of the net. But he held the ball out in front of him. His body went behind the line, but the ball didn't. No goal. The well played Ben Chilwell in between two players went to one the ball spoke to another he got to that man and then he, he actually blocked the ball and it went through to Jordan Pickford but well played five minutes of the seven have been played England lead by three goals to one Spain unbeaten in their last 38 competitive home matches where they've won 34 they've drawn four since they were beaten by Greece in June 2003 and they find themselves still 3-1 down as Chalabar can't just quite get there. Thiago in the centre circle, but time is running out for Spain. Busquets. It'll be a first defeat for Luis Enrique since he took charge. He'd won all of his three previous matches after his appointment in the summer. Asensio to the edge of the penalty area. Out towards Johnny. And headed behind for a corner kick. England's defence still resolute. I'll tell you what, Ben Chilwell has been magnificent. He's been outstanding at left back. He's blocked, he's tackled, he's passed it. He's got forward. Tremendous. Corner comes in. It's curling from that side. Far side the right. Headed away by Maguire. He was described his performance as accomplished by Gareth Southgate in Rijeka. He almost released Sterling. Johnny sends in a diagonal ball. There was Maguire. Another lion heart at the back. The Leicester City defender to head the ball away. Ceballos now. But the seven minutes are all but over. Ceballos comes forward. Spain still being patient. Now the cross comes in from the right-hand side. Oh, they hit a crossbar. Put away then by Chalabar. Cross came in from the right-hand side. Trying to see who it was in that crowded area. May have been... It was it Morata? Well, it hit the crossbar and Pickford was beaten. Further late drama. The seven minutes are now all are over. It's just a question of how much he's going to be played. In comes another cross. And Spain has scored. Diving header by Ramos. Who scored now in three successive games. But surely time is up. And indeed it is. Ramos's goal is only a consolation because the seven minutes have added on time are over and England have got themselves a landmark victory here in Seville. They have ended the Spanish long and beaten record in competitive games on home soil that has stretched back to June 2003. It's their first defeat in 39 games and England have got their first victory on Spanish soil in 31 years. But boy, it was tense. Final score, Spain 2, England 3. Well, they rode their luck there, England, to a certain degree in the second half. Very bright performance. The young boys put every ounce of effort they had and more into this match as well. Organisational-wise, was was tremendous in the first half. Second half, that shape got them the, the victory in the end, although Spain did have chances. They threw everything at the England defence. Jordan Pickford, very lucky. 
they hit the bar they've had shots go wide didn't really create any clear-cut chances apart from the Ramos header towards the end and that goal from Alcacer for the flick but wow England unbelievable stuff the crowd in the far side the England crowd can't believe it but they're celebrating now the Spanish crowd can't believe it they think they should have got a point from this game I don't think so I didn't think they did enough to win the game or, or, or get a point England not really an attacking force in the second half but Gareth Southgate full marks to you organisation teamwork went to a three at the back won the game good game management good job Mark it was only the seven minutes that were added on final score Spain 2 England 3